did I get dragged in the middle of you and suspects? Because you see how you guys. Uh, I never had a problem with you. I made a fucking joke and you fucking. Yeah, and that shit. Did that shit really hurt your feelings? Like legit? It's a homophobic joke. No, I didn't even know your ass was gay. Pause. And as we talked about before the show started, how could you not know? I thought you were a very sassy, effeminate, straight dude. And you said, what other gay dude has this voice? And I said, and I said, Mike Tyson. (laughs) Is Mike Tyson a heterosexual dude that has... Oh, they happen to have the clip. Would you like to watch it? Yes, let's watch this very homophobic clip. This is an amazing clip, by this the way. This is John Paul, yeah. and this is the Sassy Auntie <laughs> Podcast. Ooh, girl, no, yeah, so he, he was didn't. Me off at the crib. It's John Paul. I got the she was pissing me double off. Double D's for everybody. This is what led up to the end. Hey, what's up with the diabetes he thing? It's because I'm black. He was pissing me off. Nah, it's my the fucking D's. health thing. I'm the shit. Because I'm like, how can he be in that drug shit? Check this out. Dijon Paul, Lush One, you need to, you called me a gummy bear, and that hey, made me hey, hungry. Like that. that stimulated every single piece of insulin no, no. that's fighting with my type 2 diabetes and made right me now. realize that I had to talk about you overdosing on drugs, even though I'm three cinnamon rolls away from my own deathbed. But you take too many drugs, Lush One. You take too many drugs. The Sassy Auntie Podcast gives you three snaps <laughs> and a head twirl. twirl. What does my co-host, the human tapeworm, have to say? Why would you do that? That's supposed to be you, sis. Yeah, and I'm like, how can the drug addict tell me anything about being hot? I'm like, he's, he's really nice to himself. That's I'm like, he's not talking about me. He's talking about him, nigga. He said the three cinnamon rolls are so, hurt my feelings. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, so how did y'all even, why is this clip? Anyway. Huh? Yeah, yeah, what made you call me a gummy bear? What did I say about you in the first place that make you I just thought it was bear? funny. Like, I was really just so trying. So I caught a stray. Yeah, you caught a stray. That's Why? what I was saying. It you was, gotta I say, but it, I thought it nothing was to do with us, I saw something on the news and then he was laughing and shit. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's I true. Laughed. No, 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 no. What no, I no, no, no. You did. Like, I'm going to keep it a stack. In fact, no, no, no. Give me a quote. You, you may, I can't give you a quote, but there is there were several instances where you would chime in like, yeah, Lush did do that, huh? Or Lush is soft. Or, <laughs> Lush, oh, ha, ha, ha. Lush, myth. <laughs> yeah, you was doing that shit. I said on that show, I said that I never met Lush, and I didn't know Bro, nothing about you. And I said that The over fans and over will over. clip the shit. I kept saying, I don't know nothing about Lush. I never met Lush. I never met you. So how, how can I know these things about you? But you're lucky I ain't bringing free cinnamon rolls, motherfucker. I would have ate one, <laughs> saved one, <laughs> revisit the other. That's okay. Crazy. Let's watch me and uh, all my. Look, the rolls with, 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 with that being said, though, with yeah. that being said, yeah. not I never had any animosity towards you. Yeah. I made fun of you, like I didn't think that that was gonna. It triggered. Yeah, it tr- I, didn't, it, I didn't think it, it was gonna trigger you to the that voice extent. thing. I don't like the voice thing, Lush. I didn't even I, do the voice thing yet at that point. The, the gummy bear thing, oh, the gummy pre- bear, yeah, 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 that predated that, it. Yeah, the, and then I told I you was just saying overdose. because look, like I, I, I'm sitting at the time yeah. with uh, with Compton rappers. You feel me? Shout yeah. to my boy Gichi Gotti. So we, we, we we dissecting the report card and shit, yeah. like and the inherent flaws within the system, right? What we felt like could be improved and okay. and things of that nature. Uh-huh. And then I was like, I, we'd love to you have you elaborate on them inherent flaws. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I, I would love watch to watch this clip. All right, okay. Let's don't let us forget. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man, listen, he so said he had a hair and flaws. Don't let us forget. Okay, okay, in here. Okay. Man, that's hair and flaws. If he comes right. through, no. through yeah. just spraying his shit up, man, it'll be crazy. Man, we got, yeah. man, this is crazy. Yeah. He dragged me into this. Oh, hold on. Quicker, look at you. Hey, the dope. He was like, hey, I need assistance. And he said, Flacco said no. I'm not going to Flacco said no. I saw him like, all right, come on. Look, Flacco don't be part of no circuses. That's his thing. Make the dope scratch. And we have fun. Make the dope scratch. Hey. Scrape the bowl. Scrape the bowl. There we go. Hey, look. Why you cooking that fuck crap? Shout out to Lush. This is for you, bro. I was feeling like Fredo Santana. Yes. If you had stayed off of this and Discord, you were still working. Here. Like, but you chose this in Discord like, over your career. Like, I didn't say no. <laughs> so, you know, shout out to you. The scene was like gray okay, and like kind of soap bar-ish. Oh, but clear, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. No. That's why they call it clear or broken wind. It looked like it looked ice. Like the one we saw was brown. Yeah, ice, glass. Yeah. Oh, it looked like, like ice if you just let it kind of form instead of like putting it in ice cubes. 
they mm-hmm. forgot Ice Cube and just kind of just did its own thing. Yeah. It's kind of weird. There's different colors. Yes, it should not seem kind of weird. Like predominantly, yeah, it's, it's clear. But yeah, it we did like our ice. best with what we had. It yeah, we had to do what we had to do our thing. Look, that, like that shit was funny, and and honestly, y'all cooked up some fire, and I've been high ever since. I haven't even slept in a week and a half. Okay, we lit. That's amazing. Like, I appreciate the tester batch. So there we go. There That's we right. Go. So, okay. but the, but the, damn, bro, the nigga could have wait. Like he said, <laughs> so as far, so, so far, <laughs> as, far as the inherent sorry. flaws, like hey, I mean, look. here, of course, look. he's excited about this. Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry, but look, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack. We'll be quiet. It's just y'all two, by the way. Sure. Well, there's a lot to unpack, and I yeah. think a lot of it at this point is redundant because other people have already made similar critiques. Is there anything that you like about it? Let's yeah. Start I, with that. Yes. Okay. I love the fact that artists are being that even skill set. Mm-hmm. And artistry is being analyzed as opposed to, you know, it. gang beef and fucking young uh, black and brown men killing each other, which Flacco oh, glamorizes oh. and shit like that. Love you, but Love you are a up. fake woke white liberal, man. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, no, I promise you, you are not. Listen, I, you, I am a motherfucking hip hop. You are the white savior, bro. I, 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 I promise you, trust me, bro. We'll I, be just fine without you. I ain't saving. <laughs> I ain't saving hoes or Nathan you just else. Gotta save these but, niggas, I, but, man. but I'll tell you, sorry, 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 no, no, you good, you good. Yeah. I, you, yeah. I had that. Okay, coming. so I do appreciate that one positive. No, no, no. Look, there's a lot of positives. Okay. You know yeah, what okay. I mean? There's, yeah. there's a lot of positives. Some of the metrics that you're using, I believe, um, mm. are reasonable and should be analyzed. I mm. think there's a lot of things that aren't considered. Um, what? like, well, for one. Mm. When you have art, like which was our previously discussed, but when you have artists with major label backing and major label budgets, uh, it's hard to put them on the same playing field as independent artists. So you saying that should so, be a separate list? Of major I mean, like artists. comparing, like if you have fucking um, um, Lefty Gunplay Tyler. on the same list as fucking Doja Cat and, Ty- right. and Tyler the Creator. So watch this. You say lyricism rate Lefty Gunplay, and you say in lyricism rate Tyler the Creator, Doja Cat. How does a major label uh, come into play and in they that have fucking in, in, writing in, in teams lyricism. because they have fucking writing there's teams. There's no independent artist that has writers. There are independent, independent there, there are there are independent that could go get a ghostwriter. Def, definitely, but not to that same extent. Mm-hmm. There are so many less people mm-hmm. involved in the entire creative process from mm-hmm. conception to execution mm-hmm. to promotion every step of the game, right. having assistance, having so many more people to consult mm-hmm. with, which gives them, and beyond an inherent advantage, it's a completely different conversation. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see the different conversation. I see that being a crutch. I see that being a, a stipulation, rather, and I'm just not a crutch or stipulation type of person. Meaning this, if we have the same 24 hours in a day and you, ch- you choose to take a record deal and go do your thing and I choose to stay independent, should I be looked at differently or should magazines or publications review my music differently? They review someone who signed to a major label. They can you show me any can you show me of that with double XL? Absolutely. Can you show me how their absolutely can you show me how their mic rating? So show me an article or review from the source magazine where they rated th- this album's mics differently. Well, well, they rated how, how can we even mics. use how can we even use the source's mic ratings mm-hmm. as an active metric when Benzino was literally taking Payola I, I for it? That out. Gave I fucking that out. Benzino gave his own album four and a half mics or Eminem two and a half mics how is that started. even you can't that, that's a completely irrelevant metric these magazines irrelevant the well, source no, 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 not irrelevant. Magazine, okay, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. Let me, re- let me rephrase that. A, a metric that has a giant asterisk next to it. Because of Benzino's wrongdoing. Be, be, I've spoken on that correct, before. Correct, yeah. correct. So but, like, that, but that doesn't mean I can't but, be inspired by the five. I love the five mic ratings. No, 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 I, I, I love double it as XL, well. Double XL, small, I love medium, it as well. large, uh, XL, double XL. I like that rating that they used to do. And then it comes like, like really, and it sucks because now that after conversating with you, like I like you a little bit more, you feel me, as a human being. But I really really want to know like what are your credentials to even be analyzing this shit i've been doing well one it, it's just give me a second because it's hard for me to accept that question from someone who's not black so just give me one second be, to take a, beyond being black what are your okay, credentials me, analyzing oh, okay right right um i've worked in the music business since i was 12 years old that will be 2007 mm-hmm. i began working in the music business that's what i did i worked with several west coast rappers i did their website social media uh, new media plans, marketing plans, rollout, start doing PR, manage, had major label um, operations, things of that sort, all of those things. Can you get a little more specific with your resume? 
Because that's very, you're very vague. Which which album did you do a rollout for? Mm-hmm. Which artist did you um, do oh, management when for? Two Eleven was with CTE. I, I handled a lot of those project rollouts. Uh, when Boo Rossini was with CTE, I handled a lot of those project rollouts. USDA, which was Jeezy's group. I remember I USDA. The West Coast marketing for that. When Slick Jody Breeze and Slick, yeah. Well, Jody Breeze. By the time Jody Breeze was out the picture, was Slick okay. Puller, Boo Rossini, okay, uh, Jeezy, and Two Eleven. Okay, I was doing a lot of the. Administrative as well as new media. There was a website called USDA Today.com updated with Jeezy and USDA related content. I was doing that every day okay. in high school. So hip hop I started just, in high school too back right. in nineteen ninety seven. That's fire. Yeah. Hip hop has always been what I did. That's just what I that's you're not I from LA, huh? I am. Born and raised? Yes. You went to high school out here? Inglewood High School, yes. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. you gave me like heavy out of towner vibes. But uh, I gave you Yeah. Strong. <laughs> Strong. I give you, I'm not, my black ass is not from black LA. Uh, are you from LA? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Born and raised. Never lived anywhere else. Okay. Never. Okay. Don't like to fly. So, you been said that up here. Don't like to yeah, fly. No. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, okay. So, yeah. I respect those credentials. Yeah. And that gives it a little bit more merit. You feel For me? a long time, you got to think that was, what, 16 years ago? I started, I was doing that and been working in the music business ever so, since. So, being from LA. Yeah. And, working and in having, the music business from having, LA. Having an affinity mm-hmm. for LA hip hop, right? West Coast hip hop. For hip hop in general, but uh, that's my heart is yeah, West Coast hip hop. During a time period uh-huh. where there's a lot of people mm-hmm. looking down, calling our sound regional, mm-hmm. calling LA music provincial, yeah. saying it doesn't resonate with the mass market. Correct. You use your platform Correct. to essentially downgrade. Every single artist give them mediocre marks, except for the two that are a part of the major label system. Maybe that's why they're part of the major label system. Maybe that's, maybe it's because they have huge budgets behind maybe, them, maybe and it's unfair they, to even maybe that's use them as the a basis of comparison. Pick them up because hmm. they saw the things that I'm seeing. That was them. my argument. Yeah, I mean, that was my argument with them. The, the, I like his report right, card. Right. I, I say I'm not, I don't I'll dislike say it either. Earlier, why are we excluding? But, the, why exclude our assets? Why not put our assets on a list? Since you're looking at it as okay, people are gonna look at this and get the the gist of LA rap. Why exclude our biggest and best assets? Why? Why exclude them? Because when I don't understand it. When Doja Cat wasn't on there, it's like why isn't Doja Cat on there? You put Doja Cat on there. Now it's why is Doja Cat? Doja on there? Cat even so, being compared to rapper is a even though she is a great rapper. She, who did, she is an incredible she rapper. Didn't have the first but, number one. But she's a she's, she's a fucking forever. pop artist, fool. Like she pop she's in a different well. category. You really okay. can't call Doja Cat a rapper. She to has. have to have Doja Cat and Almighty Suspect put under the same like metrics is, made, is completely I unfair. Work. I made it work. And, that was my and, argument. And like also on top of that, bro, like now I want to address your last. Point real Go ahead. quick of what you were saying that Doja Cat and Tyler the Creator and them shouldn't be on the report card. Again, I need you to address when I didn't have Doja Cat on there, it was so much flack. So how am I how come am I getting flack when I put it on there? Be, well, I think the, the number one reason why you're getting flack, period, is yeah. because when outside people mm-hmm. who are already looking at our region mm-hmm. as limited, right. I mean Flacco even said himself recently, yeah. didn't you say LA rap was dead? You yeah. like like so like so, I, so yeah. if I, I try think to we need something. critique. I definitely think we need critique, and I, and I think because I think we need to put a fire under my, certain motherfuckers, and I think we are not in the best space. I would never say dead. I, I think I don't dead. think we in the best space. Yeah. You feel me? But that was my only critique. That, but that's me. the problem. Why do you? If that's the problem, if people are saying before me, people are saying LA rap is dead. I'm not interested in LA rap and all that or whatnot. And I come with and some solutions. List, and then, no, excuse me. And then I come out with some solutions. Say, hey, if we all improve in lyricism, if we all imp- improve in flow, if we all step up our consistency, if we all step up our beat selection, is that not someone trying to offer a solution? Can no one see it from that perspective? Or something? I do see it from that perspective. Let's, yeah. And then let's track the progress I, of that solution moving I do. forward. Yeah. I do see it from that perspective. Right. A question. This is Michigan. This is not LA. I know. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm excited for this too. Mm-hmm. When you say style, yeah, are you referring? So you're referring to image. Yeah, like uh, the character image, because you know, like Slick Rick, I think of the patch. I think of all the chains. Right, right, right. Easy, you think of the Raiders gear. The NWA, you think of the Raiders gear. LL Cool J, you think of the Kango. You know, them statement pieces and just the fashion image that goes along that's tied in with being the rapper. I That's understand a big that, part of and, and I, in my opinion, I agree, and I and I like I, like putting out the the metrics mm-hmm. and encouraging. I'm all about. Tra- I want you guys to track your own progress. I'm all I'm all about I'm accountability right. when it comes to skill set. Yeah, but I feel like when there's a time when we're under so much scrutiny mm-hmm. as a city and as a scene, yeah, that 
when if yeah. I'm from another region and I'm already thinking that LA hip hop is bootsy, and then I see this list and everybody's getting C's and D's. Yeah. Oh, why? Well, I already knew this shit was trash. Know, and what now the fuck? I don't think I think people discover artists from my page all the time. I mean, LA artists from my page all the time. People discover artists as well as. Okay, what I'm saying is if we step it up in these areas, these people won't have nothing to say. I'm trying to give you the solution. I'm not trying to focus on just the problem. So people don't like L.A. rap and people are saying these things about it. Well, if we step it up in these areas, then they, then they won't have nothing to say. Then they are just being biased against us. Then it is just a West Coast, unspoken West Coast bias. They're not fucking you, with but us. But as if a we, student if of we're not on our A game, if we're not bringing our best game, then... People cannot fuck with it, but I, I want as, to as be a student of hip hop, though you're yeah. you're aware of the fact that yeah. L.A. Is, was, has been blackballed from the industry for yeah. several years. The and, Bay Area yeah. was as, was blackballed from the and industry. That's why you got for several and that's years. That's why you and it's kind of like being black. You have to work twice as hard to get half of what they get. And a West Coast rapper, L.A. rapper, you have to work twice as hard. That's why I'm twice as hard on L.A. rappers and West Coast rappers because you have to work to get over that bias, to get over that hump, that glass ceiling that they're always referring to. You have to work harder. You can't just put out one project every five years as an L.A. rapper. I'm sorry. Maybe, but maybe in a this different is also region, like, you can, but, but you can't do that out it here. Is a sing, it is a single driven market, though, and you know that. Mm -hmm. So, like, to use albums as a metric well, is very, very I antiquated. Feel like if schoolboy, very antiquated. I feel like if Schoolboy Q hadn't took a five year break, his album would sell more if he had put out more music over over the course of that five year uh, delay. Right, but, but, but if, we're, if we're looking at If he had put out strictly, some projects, if he had put out some EPs, if he had put out some mixtapes, perhaps when it's time to put out an album in five years, the first week, well, the, the, the climate's yeah. also completely changed. He's much yeah. older. His right. whole audience, you know what I mean? There's several factors. So wait, but you don't agree because we have this conversation. Sales. We're going to have that one later, so let's save the schoolboy Q. Okay, right. I'm not talking about schoolboy Q anymore. I'm saying that you are saying go singles, whereas I say you can put out singles, but also put out projects. No, I, I'm saying I, I agree. Both. I agree. I'm not saying like, don't I'm, a drop fan, singles. I'm a fan of albums, but. Mm. but Bodies of work, mixtapes. Leaning, leaning on. Leaning on um, yeah. Leaning on albums and radio play mm -hmm. as a number, as your top metrics, which I heard you refer to multiple mm -hmm. times, mm -hmm. when you're looking at a market that where there's very little local support, even yeah. in the mass media, you kind of have to you have you who have do, to look, you have to analyze different who metrics. Do I take points away because they're not played on the radio. I mean, him, for example. So like, I take points away for the person who was standing outside of Power 106 with a Power 106 hates black people and on one side of the poster board and the other side, Power 106 doesn't play new LA rap music. I was taking I'm, I'm not there. saying but yeah but you, you like but when you're when you're using that as a metric Where's when you 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 mentioned cuz I've heard I, you I, in, I in mentioned discussions that they don't pay. I'm that, talking about the radio station I'm blaming the radio station But DJ. I've also you I've, I've also heard you multiple mm -hmm. times when they're speaking of artists you're like well they're not even getting radio play they're not impacting like that how could you how could you give them a higher grade of impact the when they're not on the radio so no, exactly I, no, 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 no. that kind of that, yeah. that kind of like solidifies what my whole entire point well, if is, that though. if it ever came across to you like that, that wasn't my intention. Okay. I'm, I'm, I bash. I'm known for bashing DJs for not playing West Coast and LA music. That's on the DJ. But what I'm saying is, if you step the records up and you put out records, then they won't have nothing to say. Don't give these niggas, these ops, no reason to sleep on you or not fuck with your music. Is what I'm saying. Come prepared. And they have, and then if they don't fuck with you, then you beat the shit out of them because you you know you're on top of your game. You got a hot project out. You got a single. You got your music video. You got your rollout. You got your PR going. You got fan merge, you're doing shows, all these things, and they still not showing you love, then you know it's some personal bias or some bullshit going on. Huh? That's that's how I look at it. I'm I'm trying to help with the poor cars. I know that personally. If your intention truly is to help, yes, you know, it, it would like, be nothing else. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this for nothing else. Because it, it seemed like, it, like, and I, and I truly believe that in your heart. Mm -hmm. But can you see how it could come across to some people as being negative? And how it can seem like you're slandering and mm. cutting people down and not fully like I look at it like having a um kind of like having a father in the house. It's like your mom lets you do whatever you want. So you kind of like her and she's positive. And then you're looking at your father who's telling you, no, you gotta go to bed, you gotta study, you gotta do this, or you get a whooping, XYZ. You looking at him as negative or the bad guy, mm. but no, he's really helping you. That's just how that's the best analogy to relate to what you just said that I have. It's like, it's kind of like how people may look at their father in a negative way, but once you grow up, you realize that nigga's really trying to help you. And your mom was just like, oh yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can stay up all night and watch this and X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. Really was hurting you. You get what I'm saying? Even though you like it more. I feel like LA rappers like it more when people just cheer their music on and, oh yeah, that shit dope and da, da, da. But it doesn't, when it doesn't translate, you're sitting there like, oh, I, 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 I could have. I like the report card my 
I like my argument always being true, or mm -hmm. or my discrepancy always being true mm -hmm. is is I just feel like you couldn't you or, or you shouldn't mm -hmm. compare us to a motherfucker with a million dollar machine or a multi. Million dollar. And that was my whole point. Too. I just don't think that was my whole point too. I just keep saying to you guys, stop but, comparing. It is a report card. Hear me out. It's a report card. If you have an A, but no, class, you're comparing, not me, because not you're comparing. using you're using their semantics as as the, the same. So metrics. you're automatically yeah. comparing, right? Because your 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 high mm -hmm. is these artists so you're automatically comparing as soon as you put them on the same list 